Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make plant-based milks. Um, I was requested to do almond milk, but I don't have any almonds, so I have walnuts. And it's pretty much the same thing. What I did was I took a cup of walnuts and I put it in some water. And I soaked it overnight, but you can soak it anywhere between 6 to 8 hours. Okay, now that I've drained them and rinsed them, I'm going to pour this one cup of walnuts into the blender. Okay, and like before when I was using the spring water for the coconut milk, I'm using the same thing for the walnut milk and I just like spring water. It's alkaline, it's better for your body. So I now I'm going to need four cups of water. And all right, this is a two cup measuring cup. So I just need two of these. Because the walnuts soaked overnight, you don't need hot water to break them down. You just need some spring water and some nuts, basically. Put them in your blender. Um, I have a Vitamix, so I use a tumbler to push everything down. And I started out on low, and then I turn it up to high. So. All right, then I'll let that settle for a couple minutes. I tend to like to scoop the top portion off, like the cream, and then I'll strain it. And to strain it, I just use a bowl and a mesh strainer um, to get the initial uh, particles out. And then to get the finer pieces, I'm using some cheesecloth. They also sell uh, milk bags as well, but um, cheesecloth is just fine and it's a lot cheaper. Okay, so I got most of the foam off. Now I'm going to pour it into my strainer. I went ahead and hacked and put the cheesecloth in there so we can skip a step. So I'll just pour that on top of the cheesecloth, let it run through, and then when it's complete, I'll squeeze whatever's left. goal is to get as much of the liquid out as possible but don't squeeze too hard because then you'll start sque squeezing some of the butter through okay now what I got from the cheesecloth after I squeezed all the liquid is what I call walnut butter and I usually save this and put it in the refrigerator because you can use it in your smoothies or you can use it to make sauces like alfredo sauce Okay, now that it's strained, I'm just going to pour it into my mason jar. And this usually lasts in the refrigerator between three to four days. Um, at our house, it lasts maybe a day and a half because we use it so much. All right, so there you have it. Um, it usually yields about 32 ounces of milk. Uh, so just be sure to refrigerate it. Also, if you want to add flavor to it, you can always add agave if you want to sweeten it, or chocolate, or even strawberries, or any fruit of your liking. And in case you missed it yesterday, I made coconut milk. Um, the video is up for that. It's a little different from the nut milks, but you can go check that out. And remember, with the nut milk, you can do that with any nut, almonds, pecans, walnuts, also pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds okay guys there you have it uh, this didn't take very long to make and it's better for you um, so why not save your money and save your body at the same time 